How are you doing, ladies and gents? I haven't checked in you with you guys in, in a few weeks now. And uh, time for a follow-up. So we're quickly reaching the end of first quarter of 2019. So depending on how far you've started some of these projects, you might feel very motivated to continue or you might feel a bit discouraged depending if you are not taking steps towards achieving all of your goals. This is around the time where you should probably go back and review your list again, see what you're ex excelling in, what you're failing in, and start making small steps towards changing as much as possible to achieve all of the goals this year. This is also around the time where some people would want to change their goals or maybe remove some or, or reconsider at this point. And, uh, for the purposes of this year, I would say stick with it if you're a person that's very diligent, regimented, um, very disciplined, then yeah, go for it. But if you require a little bit of boost, I'd say stick with it and, and you'll kind of see where your strengths and, and weaknesses are in, in achieving these goals. Little tip of the week, um, this might seem repetitive and, and it, and it kind of is, but it's a nice little nudge and, and reminder that go back, reread your list, reread your goals for this year and really take a look, an honest look as to what you're excelling in and what you're failing in and how you need to reorganize your priorities to kind of make sure that by the end of the year you're accomplishing everything you want to do and if you have no idea what the hell I've been going on about for like the last four or five insta stories uh, look at my profile I have this goal planning workshop thing I'm doing this year just for shits and giggles go back there and catch up see you guys next time